Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're having a good week. This is me doing my March wrap up. Yeah, I know it's kind of the middle of, of April, but with having been in another location for the last couple of weeks, it was not possible to do it. So I decided that I would wait till I got home. So I'm back, and as yes, I'm in my my normal my normal recording place. So yes, as I say, this is my March wrap up. And I did really well. I got through eight books, which I was really pleased with. Um, I didn't expect to read that much this month or last month, so yeah, really happy with that. So the first book I read, and some of them were on books, some of them were, were on my Kindle, but the first book I read was Michael Ball, The Biography by Willie Robertson. Michael Ball's one of my favourite um, singers, and we, I really like him. Um, and it was really, really, this was a really good book just to kind of get more detail about him and things that happened to him. It also helped to explain why um, he he came out of uh, Les Mis very early on and how his illness, etc., um, affect him and still affects him to this day. So it was that was really, really good to read and I would say a must for all Michael Ball fans. So if you're a Michael Ball fan, go read. The next one I read was Meow's Magic and Murder by Madison Johns. This I read on my my Kindle Fire. I got it as a freebie from BookBub. I really enjoyed it. It was to do with this girl or this lady um, finds a dead body in her neighbour's back garden and um, her cat keeps disappearing into the neighbour's house. Now the cat isn't really a cat. It's somebody that she's um, magicked into a cat. Uh, she is a witch. She doesn't think that her, her... She's tried one spell. This was the one spell and it went drastically wrong. So she's not wanting to do any more. But she ends up investigating why... You know, who, who the murderer is. And it's the story of her trying to come to terms with maybe having to try doing more magic. Um, becoming, you know, a detective as it were and her relationship with her new next door neighbour. So again, good book, fun, easy, quick read, so thoroughly enjoyed that one. The next one I read was Crystal Magic by Madeline Freeman, again a freebie from BookBub. This one was to do with a girl whose mother has died and she ends up going to live with her aunt. Now this girl, things happen to her. Um, she doesn't know why things happen to her. But she can make things happen. If she gets angry, things rattle, etc. Um, and moving in with her aunt, she discovers again that she has some magic abilities. And she makes friends with other people in this in her new school, where she hasn't had friends with in her previous school. And she discovers that there is a, a coven of witches, and they she's not too sure about them whether they're for good or for bad. And her friends that she, the friends that she has are like no, just stay away from them, etc. Things happen. She tries to save. Things happen, and she tries to save somebody. It has major consequences, and can, the, the book actually ends on a cliffhanger. Um, and I, I think I would like to read the next one. I want to. I would quite like to see what happens. So yes, yeah, so that was a really that was an interesting book. The next one I read was Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. Now I had high hopes for this. I mean, I thought beautiful cover. I thought yeah, this is going to be even the blurb sounded really really good. I had really high hopes from this one. I didn't didn't deliver for me. I'm afraid. Um, it's about a boy who ends up going to. Alexandria in Egypt to apprentice in the library. Now books in this world have been banned. It seems that the library are the only people that ha have books but you don't get originals, you only get copies. Um, his father sells books in the black market and everything just seems to be revolved around this library and are they what they think they are or are they not? It's really really strange and I I don't know, it just didn't grab me. It didn't grab me. I really, really had high hopes for it, but I'm afraid it didn't deliver, which for me was a shame. The next one I read was The Shop on Main by K. Core. Again, another freebie on BookBub. Um, that's the only reason I use BookBub is to get free books. Um, so I really enjoyed this. This is about um, a man who discovers he has a brother and... The brother wants nothing to do with them because the man's, because their father wouldn't acknowledge the brother that the guy didn't know about. 
the guy is a, kind of a big CEO of a company. He buys this building that he knows was important to his brother's mother. But there is a lady who owns a really nice shop in that building and she is going to end up being, she's being thrown out. Now it's the story of her trying to fight for her shop, her trying to work out what she's going to do because she is a divorced mother with two young boys. It's how her friends rally round, how the man tries to forge a relationship with his brother and just everything revolves around that. It is really well written, um, the characters are great, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed them and yeah, definitely a read for anybody. The next one I read, again on Kindle Fire, was Batter Up by Robin Neely. This is, um, again, got kind of magic element to it. This lady runs a bakery. Once a week she pulls out a bachelor's name from a hat, and then on the Monday um, she makes this cake batter, and in the batter appears the name of his bride-to-be. Uh, there's a reporter who's just sort of, who ends up finding out about this, he comes to the town to investigate. It's the story of their kind of relationship with each other and the conflict that they have, um, how this is either resolved or not resolved. And it's her, her learning to grow, her learning that life is maybe not what she thought it was going to be or how she wanted it to be. And again, just a lovely story, really nice characters and thoroughly enjoyed it. Next one was More Than Pancakes by Christine De Freitas. I really enjoyed this one again. Um, girl in her, or lady inherits a, a cottage from her gran, which is out in the back of beyond, um, in this very small town. She goes there with the premise of selling the house, clearing the house, and selling the house and the land to the hotel chain she works for, who. Um, the big corporation, major themed hotels, etc, etc. Um, what she doesn't reckon on is the guy who is renting her grandmother's land to make maple syrup from the maple trees. So this story is of him trying to convince her not to sell the, ho not to sell the house or the land, or if she's going to sell it, to sell it to him. She kind of realising that maybe this is selling it to the big corporation is not what she should be doing and the story of kind of their conflict, how they resolve the conflict and how they end up working together. Again, really nice story, well portrayed, characters were really really fun and thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed it. And the last book I read was Brethren by Robin Young. I needed some historical fiction and this is what I got and I loved it. Oh my gosh, this is a must read. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. To do with the Knights Templar um, taking money from the king because he owes the money, so you take the crown jewels, something happens to the crown jewels. This young boy who wants to be a knight, um, his knight's apprenticeship, what happens to him during his apprenticeship, when he and also what happens to him when he becomes a knight. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this book. And if you like historical fiction and like things to do with Knights Templar and stuff, definitely a uh, yes, you have to read this book. So those are all the books I read in March. Again, really good month. Only one book that I kind of didn't really enjoy. Um, so that, that was good. I'm really happy with that. So please let me know down below what you read during March. I'd really like to know. If you've read any of the books that I read during March, please let me know what you thought about it. It would be really nice to have some interaction. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Please subscribe. It would be really nice to have some more subscribers and for us to do more interaction. I um, hope you're having a really good reading month and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!